You've probably seen these beautiful bougainvillea hanging baskets, and if you've bought one, you might have struggled to keep it looking so beautiful as the day you purchased it. Well, we're here at Prairie Wind Nursery in Norman, and joining us is Bill Ferris. And Bill, you've got the secret on how to keep these beautiful bougainvilleas beautiful. How do you do it? Well, it's really not that much of a secret, but the most important thing is the uh, cultivar selection. These bougainvilleas, some varieties are more sensitive to the day length or the changes in the day length than other varieties. The, the older varieties that were uh, originally from Central and South America are where the day don't change a lot, will not bloom up here in our long days of summer. Okay. So the, the blooms won't initiate. So over the years we've gone through and found some varieties that are less sensitive to that. We've got about a half a dozen different varieties that will bloom throughout the summer. They know they still bloom in flushes. You'll get more blooms and less blooms, right. but they should still continue to bloom throughout the season. So yours are more day neutral versus some of those that might be shipped in even from the southern states. Exactly. Um, they might be day length requirements. Right, and they'll bloom in Florida or South Texas through the winter just fine, but they're not going to bloom up here in our long days of the summer. Okay, all right. Well, and so what else do you do? I mean, you mentioned uh, that they do bloom on new growth, so that's important to know. That's right. You want to keep them in a, th a thriving and a vigorously growing mode because they do bloom on, on the new growth. So if they're not growing, if they're stressed out, they're not going to be putting on any new uh, blooms or bracts as they actually are. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, watering is a critical part of that. You want them to go through a sort of a wet, dry cycle. You water them thoroughly when you do water them. But like this one, if you can tell, is beginning to droop slightly. It's beginning to just show a little tiny bit of wilt and that's yeah. a, the perfect time to rewater that. And then you want to water it until water is running through the pot uh, and so that you know that you've got plenty of, of water in there and then leave it alone until it starts to wilt just slightly again. And so you can tell by the weight of the pot and the leaves are a little bit limp on There's, the ends. They start stuff. to droop out on the on the ends. Yes, okay. that's right. The other critical factor is the uh, fertility. Uh, now, we like to recommend the Nelson's uh, Nutristar Bougainvillea fertilizer. It's got a lot of the micronutrients in there to keep it blooming well. But in addition to that, and, and uh, this fertilizer has the magnesium in it, but the Epsom salts is always uh, is great to help to keep them. A couple of tablespoons every couple of weeks will really help to keep the blooms coming on your bougainvilleas through the summertime. So Bill, if they bloom on the new growth, does that mean we have to just keep letting them grow all summer long or can we maintain them a little bit? Well, the best thing to do is do a little selective pruning. And uh, this I think would be a good example here. You would want to take out the longer uh, trailing vines and then leave the shorter growth and, and like this break right here, cut it right ahead of this and that this will blush, flush out then and start to bloom uh, real quickly. Okay. So you can maintain it by selective pruning. And, and obviously they are going to get bigger. Would you yes. recommend somebody repot it out of a hanging basket or sure, this size sure. pot and, anyway? Uh, for instance, this patio pot, this is about a 14 inch uh, terracotta pot. Uh, we grow them in hanging baskets because it's free space in the greenhouse. It doesn't take up bench space, but ideally you'd want to put it in a larger pot, especially if it's a, a, you know, a deck plant or a patio pot, a pool deck or something like that. You want it down below eye level where you can see it. You're looking down on it rather than up at the bottom of the nursery pot. Right, right. Well, and you've got quite a few here. Can you tell us about some of these that you have? Sure. Uh, this variety uh, is Juanita Hatton, and in my estimation is the... Uh, measure that all bougainvilleas uh, are, are, should be measured by. It's it, the best bloomer, uh, of course, very heat tolerant. It, it's a more compact, a little bit more shrubby type, doesn't have such long trailing uh, blooms. The white one next to you there is uh, Imperial Thai. Now it comes out as a pure white and then fades into a, a pink blush. This one's just starting that. It'll get a lot darker than that as, as it, the blooms mature. Uh, for those folks that like one that's a little better behaved, this is the uh, raspberry ice, the variegated varieties, and they're not quite as vigorous as the, uh, the uh, green leaf variety. So if you want something that takes up a little less space and doesn't get quite so carried away, uh, that's a good selection. This is sundown orange. Uh, if you like the pink, pink, peach or orange colors, uh, this is one that's really good, uh, performs well up here in uh, Oklahoma. This one's just gorgeous. I mean, it's got huge bracts on it. And these yeah. are bracts, right? Not they, they petals. They are bracts. This is the flower 
here's your flower. Okay. And then this is the bract, just which like is like a set. modified leaf. Uh, it yeah. is. Yes. All but right. The, all of these varieties perform well up here in Oklahoma. Well, they obviously are performing well here, and they look beautiful. And thank you for sharing your secret with well, us. Thank you. I appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.